Hello everyone and welcome to a club reaction pod um, to Rangers v St Johnston in the quarterfinals of the Scottish Cup and we are out on penalties. Um, this is a very, very immediate um, reaction to it. Um, we've got three bears here that are probably not best pleased about what we've just witnessed and there is so many questions now getting getting brought up and... I'm I'm gutted. I'm I'm absolutely gutted. I, I'm I just can't believe that it's kind of unfolded the way it has. But anyway, I I'm I'm your host Scott Carney. Uh, joining me is Ali Pearson. First of all, how we doing, lads? Another disaster on the cup once again. Not half me and Scott Gemmell sitting outside. <laughs> it's becoming all too familiar. This is it not? Yes, it is. Concern. Uh, is a uh, is very concerning now. Um, look, and I. I'll take try and take the kind of league out of it. What we've achieved in league is absolutely fantastic. But this was uh, the most perfect opportunity for us. We've beat the, the probably the second best team in, in the competition. We put Celtic out with ease, really. I mean, we didn't really fucking have to hit a second gear. And everything from Rangers tonight was wrong and bad and... Just shambolic, man. From from really from from start to finish, I was trying to be positive throughout it all, and I give some credit to St Johnston for the way they've managed to, to kind of keep themselves in the game for as long as they did. But it's not good enough. It just isn't good enough, and there's there's not really many excuses um, just now that I, I would deem acceptable. It's it's out of all. It's just it's not right. It, this this just shouldn't happen. Um, but we'll, we'll try and try and dissect it a bit. So the starting eleven was McGregor, Tavernier, Goldson, Holander, Barisic, Davis, Kamara, Aribo, Kent, Hadji, and Morelos. Um, no real shock in the team, Ali. Um, obviously, there seems to be something wrong with Scott Arfield as he didn't make the bench. And Gerard said in his his, his pre-match interview that he kind of pulled up in training. But I suppose if he's not fit, then this was the team we were expected to, to kind of play. Yeah, I think Scotia predicted it. I think Arfield, if he was fit, would have started and pushed a repo one up. But I I mean, you look at, I think Scotia text before you look at the bench at the moment, we have no midfielders to come in at midfield three at the moment, really. And I, it's worrying, only, the only positive is we're at the end of the season, but we were hoping to get to the next round of the cup and it, it might have become an issue. But um, yeah, it was a team we probably feel the only one that you could say was maybe right should have started ahead of Hadji, but that's about it. Yeah, Scotia, you called this team, mate, so... Yeah, it's the team that I've been wanting to see a wee bit, like when Ken, um, excuse me, Hadji starts playing in the midfield three, and then you can play like a 4 2 3 one and then you can have a wee bit of fluidity between the three behind Morelos, um, but didn't kind of come to that today. Um, I know I said I don't think we'll see right very much season going forward, but because I don't know how bad our field's knock is, that's bad, then I think you'll see Rebo and Hadji being on the bench and right playing up because there is no one else in that midfield that can come in and substitute any of those players for at the moment. So, interesting going forward. It will be interesting going forward. Not that it matters anymore, to be honest, mate. It's kind of completely irrelevant now, but it's how we're kind of going to line up. Look, I was going to, as I say, lads, we usually do a play-by-play um, on this, but to be honest, I don't really want to because... There's not really not really much to kind of dissect about it all. Um, it's our own doing that this has happened. And, I mean, there's not really any excuse for it. And you have to question a lot of the players' um, game management, their mentality, Gerard's decisions that he made, um, well, his decisions he seems to make in the Cups. It's just it's baffling how, how this has happened. But pretty much from the whole of the first half, um, Ali, it was pretty much a carbon copy. Um, I was trying to remain positive, but it's pretty much a carbon copy from what we've seen on Wednesday night. And this is a much changed team. This is a much stronger team we were playing tonight um, in terms of the Rangers starting 11. So, I mean, I, yeah. I don't. I generally don't know where to start. I mean, St. Johnson had one change. We had six changes, was it? Um, five or six, yeah. Five or six changes. We were in the group chat, obviously. I think Scotia said it was a carbon copy of Wednesday night, and that's exactly what it was. St. Johnson started a better team. They had three, I think, three corners in the first five minutes. Again, they were pressing us high up the park. We just looked a pass and was all over the place. We just looked... I mean, I, I was told Rangers were going to come out today. They were going to be up for it. It's going to be high tempo. 
this is the Cup Rangers win to win. And it just didn't look like that. They just looked a shadow of the team we've seen this year. And I don't know what what the problem with Cups is with Rangers, but yeah, it was it was a dreadful start from Rangers and the first half was like the same as Wednesday night. And it shouldn't have been that way. We, we were told Rangers were going, we were going to see a different Rangers team t- today and I fully expected it. And when I seen that, I text through the first half to you guys going, this isn't our day. I just knew it wasn't our day. I could just tell it wasn't our day. I've seen this movie a few years ago and I just thought it's going to happen again. And it, we'll come on to it later on. It's just, it's disappointing. The cup to me this year was gravy. It was an add-on. Was I bothered about it deep down? No, the league was a be-all and end-all. But at the end of the day, you're in the cup. The league cup, Celtic went out of the league cup. We made an arse of that instantly with St Mirren, last minute goal. We've got we've put Celtic out like you said last week. You've put this, the best team in the competition apart from us out, and then you go to the next round again, and you concede a, a last second goal again. It's I don't know what to say about it anymore. It's the record in the cup is abysmal. Apart from getting the league cup final two years ago, it is absolutely abysmal, and. Yeah, he needs to take something on this, Gerard, because it's it's unacceptable. I don't know what it is. I really don't know. I mean, I don't know what Scotia's thoughts are on it. Scotch? It's worrying. It's worrying, to be fair. I mean, Gerard is built up in a player that he was being an excellent cup player. You know, he won all those cups for Liverpool, etc. And where they would want it would have been the league. We've got the league, but that's a few occasions now we've absolutely balls up in the cup. And it's it's getting a wee bit too too much. There's only so long. I, see if we don't win the League Cup next season, that might kind of make me go like, yeah, it's not quite right. It's, it's not great. We should have it's, it's, that game should have been shown up shown up early on today, and it wasn't. Yeah, and I, I think the most worrying part of it all for me was. The team was completely different. I mean, it's the, probably the strongest team we could have played. I think Hadji and uh, Scott Wright, I think there's probably an argument there because Hadji's not really turning up at the minute. But, I mean, in the first half, it was just... We had, I think, one chance with Kamara. Um, he got put through right early on. It was a bit unlucky, to be fair, but he probably should be scoring. Then we obviously get Morelos get booked as well for basically just being Morelos. Um a wasted opportunity, a few wasted opportunity from free kicks, to have delivery um, in the first half was absolutely shocking. Um, and it takes 40 minutes, I've got it noted down, it took 40 minutes for Rangers to get a first corner. And it leads to a great chance from uh, Morelos. Alander's header's not on target, it comes to Morelos. It's kind of on the volley, but he blasts it well over the bar. Um, he at least has to hit the target here. Um, now, there definitely should have been a red card at this point for St Johnston. That Wotherspoon was very ra- reckless on attacky, a tackle sorry, on Hadji. Um, he was literally about halfway up his shin when he went in for that. If he made contact with Hadji, it would have been quite a quite a nasty tackle. But, Ali, that really gets us to half-time. Um, St Johnston were working hard. I mean, they, were, they weren't going to be able to keep that up for 90 minutes. But Rangers just had to be better, really, all over the park. Yeah, I, mean, I, th- I thought St Johnston, but you know what St- you're going to get with St Johnston? I mean, they've won the League Cup this year, we've played them umpteen times. They're a well-organised team, St Johnston. They've got big, big guys, they're frustrating to play against. That's the whole point of them. And yeah. I just thought I just thought they looked like a team that knew their jobs, and we looked like a team that looked clueless at times. I just thought the passing was slack. For the final balls, I mean, Tav's balls to the eight, well, apart, apart from one ball in the second half, he put it on the Morelos' head. His balls were shocking. But he's he's not played for 10 weeks. So you need to give him a bit of slack in that. Barisic's balls at times were poor. Hadji, to me, I'm sorry, non-existent again. Morelos in the first half is right. You could go through them all. Morelos, I didn't think it was great the first half either. I just thought we looked clueless at times. And, and going into the second half, I mean, I spoke to my dad, I thought, we can't play that bad in the second half, surely. <laughs> and I did notice before the game that we were shooting into Copeland in the first half, which I didn't like, because we always shoot into the Brumel, and I thought, oh, fuck, why? they've obviously won the toss. But no, it was a very, very poor first half. And um, aye, we're probably lucky to go in 0-0, to be honest. And Johnson probably deserved 
more than us at that point. Yeah, Scorsa, your, your thoughts are in half time, mate. Ah, it's a weird one, that, because they've done it so Xander Clark to the sun in his eyes, which you don't think you can on, but it pissed me off as well. I think it pissed off most people that you're shooting into the Copeland in the first half. It's always the second half you're shooting into the Copeland. Um, but it was it was very similar to Wednesday night. I thought St. Johnson closed the zone pretty well. I thought St. John's were well drilled. They were, looked hungry for it. And at times, we didn't. We were you know, we were lack of day, lack of days ago. Um, the only two players in that first half that I would give pass marks to would be Ken and Hellander. I think everyone else was kind of like, no. Nah. Yeah, I, I would go along with that, mate. To be honest, um, really, really not doing, just not doing enough. I mean, I say Ken was trying his hardest as he always does, but I mean they identify him, and as soon as he gets anywhere near the ball, if they're within a yard of him, they'll just smack him and they'll bring him down. But it's okay for us to sit and. Um, can I give praise to St Johnston for the way they approach the game? And I suppose you have to give them praise for the way they, they approach the game. But to me, we are a sort of team that we have to adapt to the, what we're about to play against. You can't just go, OK, St Johnston are going to do this, let's just let them. Let's do something else. Let's try and... I, I don't even know. I'm not a tactics guy, so I, I don't really know. But it's just... It, it kind of felt like this is just the same old kind of story, especially in the cup games. It's just... As I say, it's baffling and I, I'm very, very frustrated at this. Um, we'll kind of brush through the second half. Um, Rangers were obviously told at half time to up the tempo. You could see we'd up the tempo, the tempo, the passes were, were much better, more purpose, uh, not just passing for passing's sake. Um, Morelos gets a, a shot down the right hand, hand channel, um, tight angle, but it's quite easy uh, for the keeper. Uh, Morelos is. Close, really, with the best chance of the game. Great delivery from Tav on the right-hand side. The only really good ball Tav put in the day. Um, the header crashes against the base of the post and it bounces back into the arms of St Johnston keeper. Scott Wright then comes on from Hadji and I think we all breathe, breathed a sigh of relief at this point when Hadji went off. He's just not he's not cutting the mustard just now. And then, from then, there was not... Morelos had another chance from kind of point blank. Again, Xander Clark did really well. Xander Clark's play played the game of his absolute life tonight, um, which kind of yeah. sums up the way Rangers have played. I mean, he, he has, and he kept St. Johnson in the game. Um, but I'll, I'll stop at this point. Ali, I am shocked that Morelos got took off and Kamal Roof come on. I am shocked. Yeah, I know he was on the booking, but it kind of... Shrugged out his game early doors. I thought the second half, Morelos actually played really well. I thought he should have scored the one where he hit the post. The one going back across the keeper is probably what he can only do, to be honest. I mean, in terms of Xander Clark, he had a really good game today. I would say he didn't make world... There was no world-class saves in there. I thought they were all saves he should be making as a goalkeeper. But he did have a good game. He's man of the match by a mile, Xander Clark. But, um, no, when you're looking for a goal, and Kamar Roof... I mean, we've discussed Kamar. I, I don't know what he is really with this Rangers team at the moment. He frustrates me. He had a wee purple patch November, December, and since then, he's in and out of the team. I don't know what he offers Rangers. I really don't. And I don't know going forward next season where he fits in either. And I don't want to sound hard on him, but he just frustrates the hell out of me, Kamar. And again, when he came on tonight again, he can hold a ball up all well, but again, he didn't do much for me. Didn't do it enough. But yeah, like you say, if, if you're looking for a goal and you've got Morelos, you've got to keep him on the park. I mean, he looked, you could see when he got off, taken off, he looked gutted. I know he's missed two chances, but the likelihood is he's going to get one more and he'll put it away. So, it's disappointing. Some of the some of the substitutions, I think, with Gerard in the Cup and when he picks teams as well, we'll go back to the St. Mirren game, the League Cup. I don't know what... It's as if he treats it completely differently to the league sometimes. And I don't know why. Because the same bloody teams were playing. And I, it's a bit baffling, this cup form. <laughs> it's hard to put your finger on it. Aye, it's tough. Um, but Scotia, were you, were you shocked at Morelos going off and Roof coming on? No, because he's on a booking. And see, he got booked for something that I was a wee bit concerned at at first because the referee booked him first. And I was like, I was racing. Why is he being booked? Because the other boy should have been booked as well. I think it was uh, Liam Craig. Because they were both just in a wee bit of handbags. 
you know, and it was, that was all it was. But because he went to Morelos first, I was like, well, how's he been booked? And I'm going mental. But that, the St. Johnson player got booked, and I'm like, I oh, know that's happy days. I wee bit of handbags. You're always running the risk with Morelos. You know, he can't do a wee David Turnbull half the player down and not expect to get pulled up. Yeah. Um, so, no, I wasn't surprised to see him off, and it wasn't working. I don't think they were sitters. No, he hits the post, and then the one he cuts across, I think Xander Clark does pretty well to kind of put, it's not a great save, but it's a save nonetheless. And that's what you want Morelos to do. You want him to put it back across the keeper from where it's coming in. Um, I, I, at this point, you knew it was kind of like, oh, this is going to be, it's not going to be our day. Yeah, it, it felt like that. Um, it really did. And yeah, Morelos, is, I think he's he's definitely unlucky with the one that Clark saves. But the header one, again, he's inches away. I mean, it's 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 you can't be too critical of him. But I'm I'm shocked that he went off because he was looking he was looking really good in the second half. And I think his face told a million stories when he got took off. Um, Again, Kamaru, if he just flatters to deceive sometimes, um, he really does. He had one good bit of link up play he had with Scott Wright. Um, Scott Wright managed to get the shot away, who again I thought looked quite positive when he came on. I thought he looked quite good. Uh, but again, Clark saved it. So we're into kind of really the end of the game, to be honest. Um, three minutes added on time and full time whistle goes and it's on extra time. Um, it starts, extra time starts the same way the second half was going. Rangers were dominating the possession, looking to press the issue. So Johnston still trying to catch us in the break. Rangers had a bit of a chance six minutes into the first half of extra time from a corner, um, but they managed to clear their lines. Really not much to report. At the end of the first half of extra time, uh, jump into the second half. Uh, St Johnston have a chance where Harlan gets the best of Hollander for the second time of the night. But McGregor is out really quick to close him down and makes a great stop. Hollander then stays down and he's replaced by Simpson. Uh, but then Rangers finally get the breakthrough. Um, about five minutes from the end, Tav makes his way to the back post. Aribo delivers the ball into the back post. It's an absolutely great cross for him, to be fair. And Tav's there to, to head it home. And at this point, Ali, I thought, thank God, we've done it. We've scored see the game out Rangers it's four minutes all you've got to get through here uh, but as I say we're about to come on to what happened but at this point you're thinking just thank God it's happened we've scored yeah I mean McGregor pulled that great save from O'Hallon I thought he gave us a bit of a tour of time O'Hallon when he came on mm-hmm. and he shouldn't because he's shite I know he's got pace but that's all he's, he's got shite. Yeah, he's he is shite. shite but all he's got pace and it see, we seem to shite ourselves a wee bit of him with the pace and I don't know why because he has crap but in terms of that goal that was a great great ball in finally and there was Tav as a leading like a captain I mean I had a fear with him playing 120 minutes tonight but he done he done alright next to time and, and you're thinking I thought that was the winner I was jumping about the, the flat I thought ah, surely yeah. that's it surely that's it now and you're looking at the clock. I know Holanda was down. I was thinking, I thought there would be three minutes out of time. There was only two. I thought, all we need to do now is see it out. And obviously, I mean, you'll come on to what fucking happened. But <laughs> how we can't see games out is beyond me. We talk about game management, game management all the time. It's simple. There was umpteen times we were down near that corner to hold it in there. And we, we just... We lose it and they, we just give them that one wee glimmer opportunity and that's all these teams need and they'll punish you and that's what happens. But obviously you'll come out and talk about that. Yeah, Scotia, I'll, I'll just rip the Alastair plaster off right now, mate. I'll rip the plaster right off. Xander Clark scores the equaliser for St Johnston. Um, you literally couldn't make this stuff up. In my personal opinion, mate, there is no excuse for this. There is like zero excuse for a goalkeeper to come up, to be standing about two yards out from the goal with nobody anywhere near him. The ball drops right to him and he manages to put it away. There is no excuse for this. Ah, oh, there isn't. You should be defending a corner better than that. But I would say the game in the weekend or midweek, that was missed game management. This one, I don't know, this was just poor defending. In our part, because on Wednesday night, Roof shouldn't have done what he tried to do. But then you'd realise Roof tried to do that against the Belgian team and scored an absolutely worthy. Mm. Can't have it always, but 
this one was just poor defending from our part and them wanting it more. They looked like they wanted to do it. They looked like they wanted to win on bed tonight. They looked like they wanted to win tonight. And lo and behold, two of them have won. So I'm absolutely raging a wee bit at Rangers. But I, St. Johnson kind of deserved to go through a wee bit because I think they wanted it a bit more than we did. If you look at uh, the whole... Uh, yeah, yeah, they, they, they probably did. Um, well, yeah, they did because Rangers didn't really show up for it at all. And the bit that pisses me off the most about it is... Why we had this? Why it ha- Why it's happened? Like it's more like there's there's more questions coming up than than the answers that we're going to really get from it. And as you say, I've I've just came to to Scotia about it. Ali, there is zero excuse for us. There's zero excuse. I I honestly thought the second half the extra time, St Johnson looked more likely to score on first than we did. I I, th- I thought they looked. They're not fitter than us, but I just thought I thought we ran out of steam in the second half of that, and, and we got the goal from from kind of nowhere. I thought we nicked that goal, to be honest. But to give St Johnson credit, I mean, they their heads could have went right down and thought, "Oh, fuck, it's not our day," and they didn't. They kept going, and we, we had a couple of chances, a couple of breakaways, and we just didn't manage the ball properly at all again. And I don't know how many times. We are going to be in this position for us to learn a lesson on it. Because we can go back to umpteen games now where we just... The Hamilton game in the league where we lost that stupid goal last minute. League Cup St Mirren last minute. You can slightly forgive the one midweek. It was a penalty. And now this one again. And we always hear we'll, we'll learn from it and stuff. And we're, we're not learning from it. And that, I mean, again, it came from O'Halloran down that side again. Barisic slides, slides in. They get the corner kick. And you know this is the last chance they've got. They bring their keeper up and nobody's on him. And it's a, just a simple ball into the box. I mean, and there's the defendants all over the place. He gets a, a knock on it and it hits, I think, the boy Kane at the back and goes in. And when that happened, I texted you and went, 100%, it is not our day. That keeper will be buzzing. Even though he didn't actually score it, he'll be buzzing and... Yeah, I just I just knew we were never going to win the penalties. You're going to come on the penalties, but we didn't deserve it tonight. You, and, and you could probably say in open play we had the better chances and stuff, but I, I kind of agree with Scotia. I, I thought St. Johnson wanted that game more than we did, and that's pretty sad if they wanted that game more than us. And, yeah, it it, tarn- it doesn't tarnish us. It does tarnish the season a wee bit. 55 is a be-all and end-all for us. We know it is. In a week's time, when we're getting ready for the 15th, we'll possibly put this to the back of your heads and think 55, 55, because that's what it is. But it does put a wee dampener on the season, I'll be honest, because we're not learning from it. And we're getting knocked out in quarterfinals of Scottish Cups. That shouldn't be happening. No, no it's, I don't there's, think a there's, few, there's a few from that. There's been a few that you're going like, right, the league's the, the main thing. And it's like, but we'll do the League Cup, we'll do the Scottish Cup. And that's going like, oh, we've not done that, but not done that. So it's just league, league. There's a few buttons falling off, and you're going like, wait, it's just that. So there's there's a few knocks went off uh, Stevie G for that, I think. Yeah, you know, well, I think for the fact that we've been put out by St Martin and St Johnston, two teams that we would never expect to drop points against, never mind get put out cups by. So there's questions there. There has to be questions. We can't we can't sit here honestly as Rangers fans. And yes, 55 is a be all and end all. It is, but. This isn't. It's not good enough. It's just not good enough. It, like we we've put out Celtic with ease. I mean, with fucking ease. We didn't even fucking try against Celtic, and we put them out, and we stumble and make an arse of this like we have tonight. It's just there's no excuse for it. There really isn't. And whether it's down to mentality, down to the players that we don't have available, and maybe people not being fully fit or whatever it seems to be, uh, it really doesn't matter. The, the, the team should be more than capable to beat St Johnston, and no disrespect to them, but the level of player that we have compared to them is just, you can't really compare it, so yeah, it's just it's devastating. I really am. I'm, I, I know, obviously, this is very, very immediate, and I probably will forget all about it, and the league was the league was there but after putting out Celtic this was 
it was written in the stars for me for Rangers to make this a double and what a season it would have been and I say we've just went and made an absolute I'll, arse of it. I honestly think, Carney, that when Rangers put Celtic out last week, and you're, and you're correct, Rangers put Celtic out last year, last week in second gear. We all know we were in second gear last week and it yep. was comfortable. I honestly think, and we talked about this, and I says I hope they don't think this, that the Cup's theirs now. They were told when Celtic were knocked out of the League Cup, the Cup's Rangers now. They were told again after knocking Celtic out last week, the Cup's Rangers. And I, I, I just hope they don't get it in their heads, Rangers, thinking... Oh, that's us pretty much won it now. We just need to go out and play in second gear against these teams as well. These teams want that cup probably more than us. And you was and yeah. it was shown it was shown tonight. And if a team wants it more than you, I'm just I'm the same as yourself. I'm just disappointed. I can I can take if if Rangers battered St Johnson tonight. The keeper had a game of his life and it just didn't fall for us. But we didn't. I thought we were really poor tonight. We had a couple of really good chances. But if I'm blatantly honest with myself, we didn't deserve. We deserved what we got. Hmm. Fully deserved what we got. Yeah, I don't think there's much really to add to that. Um, I'll quickly run through the penalties. Tab misses his. St. Johnston score all four of theirs. And Ruth misses his. Um, and, you knew those two were going to happen. Yep. Yeah, 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 I knew Bruce was going to miss, and you knew yeah, so yeah. I same, mate. I felt the same. But even at the end of um, the way the game ended in extra time, I think we all pretty much knew that this we were going to go through. Uh, anyway, finishes four turn penalties, and Rangers are out. St Johnston are through. Um, I'm not really sure how to wrap this one up. Uh, Scotia, if you got any anything else to add to this fucking car crash? <laughs> Oh really? No, we're poor again. We need to kind of reevaluate how we deal with the cups. We've not been good ever since Gerrard's been, and we've not been good. I was hoping this was the time for us to go to Hamden. You know, there's a small chance. In fact, now there's going to be a fucking absolutely gigantic chance that we'll be allowed into Hamden or another, um, what do you call it, Parkhead or somewhere else. They watch the games because none of us are there. We need to do better. That's what we need to do. And the cops, we need to do better. Yeah, Ali, final thoughts, mate. Yeah, just disappointing. I mean, we'll obviously probably touch on it in Club Deck Corner and we'll all calm down a wee bit, but it's bitterly disappointing because I fully expected Rangers to go there tonight and convincingly win. I was told what I was going to get tonight and I got absolutely nothing from it. And yeah, it's disappointing, but at the end of the day, it's cup football. These things can happen. We're out. We need to get on with it. We've got three games left in the league, which, to be honest, I think we'll just peter out now and we'll, we'll get a trophy and then that that's the season done. But, yeah, we'll just need to move on from it. It's a sore one to take again in the cup, but we'll need to move on from it and learn. I know we keep saying it, this is the third year, but we will need to learn. And next season in the cups, we need to win at least one of those cups along with the league next season. Yeah, of course. I was going to say, obviously, those bands have got handed down to the Covid-5 now. So that... Yeah, they'll at miss. Least they'll, Patterson, yeah. At least Patterson, a couple of games out, where we all want him to play on the, the friendlies for Scotland and stuff do himself well that's that's a wee bit of disappointment is there as well but for yeah. me personally no but i get you mate i, I mean I, I understand that mate um i was going to do more stuff than that on on this pod badge but no nah, i just didn't expect this to happen the way it did and it's very disappointing and it's as i so want to take we need to kind of dust ourselves off and gather our thoughts about it but it's, this is literally after the full time whistle and I don't think there's any much more we can really say about it it's it's a disappointing night it's a disappointing end to the weekend um, I, I just didn't see it happening I, I really didn't I just I'm, I'm kind of just a wee bit shocked by it all and it will be interesting to see the reaction from it but I think we can all agree on one thing that it's just it's just not good enough um, right anyway gentlemen we'll just leave it there um, Scotia thanks very much for your time tonight mate uh, cheers guys Years Ali, yeah, yeah, we'll be back. We'll do a club deck corner, um, definitely this week at some point when we've all kind of calmed down a wee bit. Um, Ali, thanks, mate. Yeah, no problem. I'll uh, speak to you no problem on Wednesday night or something for club deck corner.
Yeah, we'll do one during the week, definitely. Um, thank you to all who have suffered through this. Um, thank you for the Tims for listening as well. Um, really does help our figures. I appreciate it very much. Um, so, yeah, we'll be back midweek. Not to be our gear um, in terms of the cup, but we are still champions, and I suppose that's something we've got to cling on to now. And not cling on to, we need to bask in the glory of it, to be honest. And we can still go the, the league season anyway, um, undefeated. So... We are Club at 22, the Rangers podcast, and we will speak to you all next time. Cheers, everyone.